All right, let's play this through here. Oh, we got some uh, clipping plane issues there on the camera. Oh, nice. <laughs> it might be a bit much, even though I love this. Uh, it might get a bit much and bouncy. They feel very light. But I'm all for adding stuff. They also kind of come out of nowhere. I, mean, I would just probably just have a, a few little ones here. Ba -bam, and one one here. So it's it comes out of this and its momentum goes this way. You know, that type of thing here. And if you want to add some more here, because it's cool to have a little slap down here. Ba -bam. Uh, same thing. I would just add something through here. Some small bits. It's a bit much. <laughs> They're a bit bouncy going mostly up and downs in a pretty straight way there. Um, that's part of my reaction <clears throat> just for that section here just uh, on your camera there's a near far clipping plane that I would just adjust the value so you don't have that flickering then pow, pow. Let's see the shake here the shake is okay I will probably have right at the very beginning here a couple of things it feels like it's there's a lot of why Especially with this big one here. And then afterwards, it feels like it's going back and forth, back and forth in the same direction. It could be a bit more random. And the initial impact, I would probably do like, bah, bah, like a, a one frame, one, one, one frame, bah, 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 and then get into a looser curve. Right now, it feels very slow. Like the beginning impact is very slow in terms of camera shake, in terms of the movement of the camera shake. So it would be a more high frequency impact. And then relax a bit. And I'm not sure about that general with the huge Y rotation here. And once we're back here, it's, I mean, it's better. It's just it's a bit more high frequency there. I would not have that big pop over there. Cool. Let's look at the animation here. It's cool. Cool. The tricky thing about this part here. There's always something when you have a big roar that you got to be careful. It feels like with that body and that curvature, it's almost like your your neck would be higher. There's something about the body here and then the head here giving this bit of a slump. That being said, yeah, there's something right through there where it feels like if that's the body, you want to go almost, you want to go higher. They've, you have that kind of feel to it. There's something slumpy through here. But, can we fix this? Because I don't want to change this too much, because then you're going to have to. I mean, you would have to bring this up a bit more, and I would probably rotate the, uh, the head a bit sideways so that this horn is not so aligned with this. Maybe that's, maybe that's how I'm reacting to it as well, giving this that kind of look. So if you bring up that horn... So rotate the head around so that the horn is higher. And you get get some negative space so we can see that line a bit more. That might be helpful. Well, it just pretends. Because I'm looking at this here, right? You got that body line like this, but then the neck is down here. It just feels like it's doing this. As opposed to a bit more of a nicer streamlined uh, go around here. Rah, right? That, that neck section has a nice line. But if you do that, you're just going to have to tilt up. So I think that's nice. That's very nice here. And then here, as you open the mouth here, I will translate that head up so that, you know, you have the body and then the head. So it doesn't feel like it's it's this, but it feels more like if that body has an upward feel to it, that everything goes into that. So it's more... See this line here? That everything has kind of that feeling of going upwards. Now, once you do that, like I said, the head will be way too high. So it might just work that through here you start tilting up. Which might not be too bad. And then you got the feet there will be just they will be this low. Then you can always readjust and reframe into this, which is cool. I think this could work. 
if it's a pain, you can always send me the Maya scene and I can do a little camera adjustment if you want. And you can concentrate on the rest of the notes. Um, and I can always kind of give it a shot here. It's totally up to you. That's all. It's kind of the main reaction through here that there's something that feels just droopy here. And that horn aligned with that neck. Stuff is cool here. That is still a bit slow. I think that the steps here feels like it's really visually trying to take a step here on an invisible surface versus just just a bit of a stronger push and a faster move uh, and not rotating up the feet as much. This feels suddenly like a human walk almost. So probably just don't go as high. It'll give you a nicer silhouette too so it's not so connected here. And then just have... Head, the legs always kind of dangling down, not so pointed up. It's probably my biggest reaction for this section. Through here, that's all cool. It's just that, yeah, that just seems it's very deliberate and slow. And here we got that neck thing again where you have such a nice line. And then this happens. As opposed to go up and then you bring up that, that neckline through here. So it's an overall thing like that. I know this will bring up the head too much, but you might have to bring down that that neck, uh, that chest bulge a bit, so that that upper back part, so you get a bit of a nicer, um, you know, feel like this, as opposed to the broken up feel there. There's also visually, wah, wah, I feel like there's a up stop up move. And what's weird now is, and then it's been a while, I'm gonna have to look at the previous shot. This is weird because you're having a flap, but by now-ish, it will bring up the dragon. So I will, through here, bring up the neck. So the neck really pulls up and leads, and then that flap brings up the dragon. And right now it feels like flap, nothing happens, and then magically, the dragon floats up, if that makes sense. It's a, it's a bit mistimed with the, with the wings. So you can also just wait with the wings, keep them. You have already an up move. I mean, you can go up and then restabilize and then flap here. Flap. The flap would have to happen through here. So that's part, that part is just a bit too funky. That feels a bit better, right there. But once you get to this, this feels like it's lingering too long on that head up with that such a look up here. It's like, ee, like it's really trying to get up there and it gets a bit slow and floaty. I would just do a bit of a and then relax that head again. So here it would have a bit more of a look down already, kind of looking where it's landing. And then you can have that, that look over here. And then on that impact, boom. I would swing around that head a bit faster. Right now there's, I mean, if you want to keep that head so that you have that big roar through here, I would just make sure that on on that impact, the head would twist over towards us. Those horns would go down a bit, a little bit of a rotation down. So this you feel more of an impact in the neck and the head on this and then that. Or you do, and on this, the head is already here so that, Instead of pointing this way, it's pointing this way. And then you just have that. But if you want that energy, then all you would do is... Where's my drawing? When it's already here, and you want the same amount of movement, you go... Then you would end up just having the neck higher and the neck here. So if that's your... You know, if that's your framing here, just imagine that this part is actually here. You could really push this, which what? Also give us maybe a nicer look up or, you know, a shape. And then that will, might even uh, separate the horn again so that it's not so overlappy through here. If that makes sense. Just to recap. So on, on that impact, it would move that head over faster so that instead of pointing this way, the head is looking this way. Horns are here. But if that's what you do, then from here to here, there's not that much of a move for roar. So then in order to go further, you bring up the, the head higher, which might be good. So you don't have that, those dips, that line here. So it's a bit more of a, of a uh, just a bit of a nicer 
line of actions you imagine it might be even here all right and then you got a bit of a nicer flow and then because of that the horn will be higher it might still intersect with this but worst case you just go and on this you bring down the chest a bit and the butt so that's just an overall flowy nicer move with a separated uh horn if that makes sense I think overall, it's definitely very cool. So, that's cool. The steps are neat. Cool there too. Impact's cool. Just little things here and there. Yeah, it is through here. It's just, and there's something, uh, be careful when you have body up like this with the tail down, and then you go down with the, uh, with the head here and the tail goes up. There's something where it feels like this is one piece pivoting off the middle. And thus kind of a, I don't know what the word would be. It's kind of that seesaw. Is that a seesaw? Whatever it is that, <laughs> you know, when kids are sitting, imagine the ground is here. And they're doing that. <laughs> anyway, it kind of feels like it's pivoting off of here, going down, and then again, pivoting off the middle, going down like that. But the main thing here, out of everything, if you had to look at, it's like, man, I don't want to, do all of this, I want to just touch a couple of things here. This would be the first thing to fix. This just doesn't quite work. The The slow look of those legs here and then the flap with no momentum up and then the magical float up. So out of everything, this is the section I would tweak first. And then probably this area. And you can always kind of rotate the head up, translate the head, the head away from us a bit more to give this a nicer line and more room and silhouette for the horns. But this section I will probably do next, and then the rest will be this, this one. All right, I hope that makes sense. If not, as always, let me know. Uh, and then I saw the other one. Now the other one has uh, Let's Groove Tonight, some awesome earth, wind and fire music. Now I'm gonna play just a little bit and turn down the the audio because of copyright issues, right? Because of, let's play this here. Yeah, right? Dun, 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 dun. Let me bring down the sound. I'm not gonna sing, uh, but that's your reference. You have them dancing and it's a long piece. It's good stuff there. I can't dance at all. Now, this is yours. Again, bring down the sound. Don't want to get a copyright strike. I have enough of these with my acting analysis clips, which I'm going to fix in the future. So with this, again, it's going to bring up the sound a little bit so people can see what you're doing here. Boogie and copyright strike. Anyway, it's just very short. I'm just curious what your plan is uh, in terms of how long you want to go with this keep going with the widescreen approach and not a Instagram square or old school TV aspect ratio. My main thing is when you do dances, um, I mean, it can be all really, really well animated and it's all super cool, but then it's always kind of, it's just kind of movement. It would be kind of neat if, if you could bring something character related. That being said, that's really just me. And I know I'm, I'm just very subjective. And if you just want to do a dance because it's fun to do, absolutely go for it um if i'm looking at this like something that could be fun is, and it's really just me again you don't have to do this but imagine there's the tv and there's a couch and maybe she leans down turns on the tv or something the music starts she does a little clap and then goes into her dance routine while she does all that dance routine she moves back until she hits the couch and then sits down now, it makes her sit down or something you mean there's something where there's more of a story to it and this is a very simplified story but something that the character is doing and then with like a beginning and an end so it's not just movement you know even or even if it's just like there's a cat here and she dances for the cat and does something yeah i don't know like something where it, it tells us something more about the characters there's some connection um or you have this on a TV, you do the dance move and the camera slowly uh, dollies back, you know, so translates back. And then at the end, you see the TV and there's a character shoulder, over the shoulder look, a bit bigger, holding, you know, ginormous pot of ice cream and eating. 
and then you can bring in then you can have the dance animation and a little bit of over the shoulder pantomime eating action and then there's more to it to the shot i don't know these are kind of my thoughts on whenever someone does purely movement at the same time i understand that it's fun to do so there's nothing wrong with that either but these are just my subjective thoughts on that so let's email let me know what you want to do um and that's it thank you all right there's an email you can sign up you can start whenever you want you can submit whenever you want you get 16 submissions either way a like and subscribe would be awesome all right thank you